So this fastener right here, which is our 50 by 50 fastener, is actually designed to be uh, what we call vibration safe. So you can put a Delta robot into a, a cage that we build, and it will move all day long, and it will not loosen up the bolts. Nice. nice. So. so anyway, obviously, aluminum extrusion, I'm sure you guys are familiar with yeah, aluminum yes, extrusion. Yes, yes, yes. Are you guys, what are you guys using right now? Uh, uh, Masumi. Okay, so I'm familiar with Masumi. So one of the things that sets us completely apart from everybody else, all of our extrusion uses, uses the exact same size um, channel. So this is 40 by 40, the centerpiece is 50 by 50, but it's all 14 millimeter um, channels okay, throughout. It makes a lot of things easier. Less accessories. Yeah, yeah. They exactly. all fit everything. Yeah. You don't have to worry about it. All of our connections are all done internally rather than externally. So you don't have to have any, you don't have to drill anything. Um, so... Oh! Okay, so you don't have to worry about brackets or anything. You don't have to worry about brackets. Show you that, uh, so all of our extrusion comes from the factory. Pre-cut and pre-tapped if ordered that way. Yeah. Or we can send it, um, as blank stock as well. Nice, nice. But, everything is tapped because all of our, all of our fasteners work off of the ends. Nice, nice. <laughs> So and there's so, so is it is it tapped all the way through or just the ends? Just the ends. Just the ends. Okay. Yep. So then it just slips right in here. You can have it set up in any uh, orientation that you want. You don't yeah. have to have it set up a different yeah. a certain orientation. Then once you tighten it down, it's self-aligning in there. This is so much fun. I've never been on camera before. <laughs> Um, and then our um, fasteners are all self-aligning. So first of all, you notice it doesn't twist yeah, in yeah. the extrusion, and the T-nut is self-aligning inside of there as well. Nice, nice. So you just drop your bolt right inside of the hole. It's all aligned up nice and tidy, and tighten it right down. I like that, man. So then once you're done, you give it a couple twists here. Nice and tight, doesn't twist. I didn't have to align anything. Yeah, Very yeah. Easy to use. That's much better than the brackets. Because one, one of the problems with the brackets is you always have something here in the corner, so you don't have clearance. You know, exactly. it's a clearance issue for. I don't know, it's just another design limitation. I don't know if you, you know? notice this. Yeah. So basically, this is the whole clearance issue. Like if you're building a safety fence or something like that, where you wanted plexiglass. Yeah. So we use these fasteners in these corners, but then this corner piece uh -huh. actually is designed to go over our fastener. Nice. So then all you have to do is cut your plexi, the inside di inside dimensions of your uh, of your fencing. Nice, nice. Um, and then our T nuts are a little different. They're they have a leaf spring on the back. They're post build insertable. So. You can drop them right in here into the slot. It's much easier if I don't have that piece there. Hold on. Then, all you have to do is twist it like that and it locks right in place. Nice, nice. So you don't have to worry about sliding that. That's another problem we have. Slide. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's one thing I can't stand is trying so, to line up that T nut. It's easy enough to move yeah. with your finger, but I'm. Yeah. I mean, you don't have to worry about gravity. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. We're, we're, we're gravity-less with yeah. our aluminum extrusion <laughs> fasteners. Nice, um, nice. So we get into a little bit of everything. We get into the conveyors. We get into safety fencing, material handling, um, you get linear any kind motion. Of, yeah, you get, you get any kind of linear slides, or is that yeah. what that is right that's there? Right here. Nice. So that's a full, that's a full linear so, motion. So what's going on here is basically there's a little add-on that goes on to the extrusion, or is it? <laughs> you take any of our extrusion. Yeah. And that's our linear slide. It, lo it slides inside of the it, inside of the uh, um, T slot, and then you just bolt it down Back with the wrench. Nice, nice. Back and more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. Kind of do you, so, so, do you have any uh, linear motion that you can use to build like a machine, say like a 3D printer or something that uh, you can actually ride on the rail? How about this? You could build it. Your, you, could, you could build it yourself, or these guys could design it for you. Yeah, yeah. So basically, with this and with our linear motion system, you can do. Uh, three-dimensional movement of whatever you're looking to do on that scale. Nice, nice, nice. And we can go larger than that, but basically, once it's down, it's tight. You have your little roller. Your roller goes against the steel um, raised section here. Yeah. And then you bolt your extrusion right to that. Nice, nice. And that's what creates... 
your linear motion slider. Nice. And you can use 50 by 50, 50 by 100, 50 by, well actually I believe it's 50 by 100 on up for linear motion because the, um, that's a timing belt in there. And it slides through the middle so you don't see the bottom part of the belt. So, but we do have, we don't do a whole lot of 90s. Okay, so you got brackets. 9 degree brackets. Yeah. So a lot of, so, if you get gusted or something, it adds a little bit extra stream. Oh yeah, exactly, yeah. I think we're in the wrong distance. Yeah. So one of the things that, again, sets us a little bit apart, so that would be our 90 degree gusset right there. Uh -huh. It's designed to work either with our 40 by 40 or 50 by 50, just by changing these in inserts. So right now it's set up so it's self-aligned with, with the 50 by 50, but I can take that little insert out. Put a different insert in there and it lines up with Not even a different yeah. insert. Now you turn it? Just turn it around. Nice. Now, this one's loose. I knew it was gonna do that. Fully aligned, fully aligned with the 40 by 40. Nice, nice. Or if Love you it. have somebody else's extrusion or you want to mount it to a table. Yeah. On those lines. So, so what kind of lengths does the extrusion come in? I noticed y'all got some, uh, what's your largest size? Is that like 100 millimeter by? As far as, as far as length, it's all one length out of the factory at um, 6,050, so 6.05 meters. So long enough. <laughs> is, our, is our length. Yeah. But we cut, so we'll cut in-house, we'll tap in-house. Yeah. Um, and then ship in a box and then you can assemble yourself. Yeah. Or, we can we can assemble in house, or if you buy through Absolute, then they they can assemble in house as well. Um, but our biggest extrusion is the hundred by hundred by two hundred. Nice, nice. Yeah, that's. So this is a hundred by two hundred, you said? Yes, sir. And this also comes in uh, how long? Is I mean, pretty much six six thousand meters, uh, six meters, yeah. so a little over nine yeah, feet. Yeah, pretty much as long as you can ship it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we do have extensions. So I don't know if you saw in there. So we can actually go them. longer than um, nineteen feet long on conveyors and on linear motion as well. Nice, nice. So and then this is our smallest extrusion. But this is all of our extrusion. We only have 12 different extrusion pieces to buy from. It makes it easier. Nice, man. Good stuff. That's, our, that's it basically it in a nutshell. You're welcome to take a catalog with you. Take a look at all the different stuff that we have. You don't have to drill or tap any holes. You have these little sliders that go in. Oh, yeah, your cheat notes. Yeah, so you got like a 40 by 40, or you could have 40 by 50. Still all the same profile. Nice, nice. Yeah. You guys looking for some aluminum extrude? Uh, we're always looking for aluminum extrude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what do you guys do? Uh, we're a machine shop. We build 3D printers, stuff like that. Oh, sweet. Okay. Build machines. Yeah. So you guys do any repetitive parts? We I need a robot for machine tending. No, no, not inspection? yet. Inspection? Not yet. What about uh, inspection? Nah, nah. We're stuck to the old school way. Oh <laughs> man, that's all right though. It, we're a small start. machine shop. We're, we're in my garage. <laughs> hey, you gotta I mean, start if you're somewhere. Yeah. Sponsor it, then sure. I mean, we'll advertise you. <laughs> yeah. So what's, you go. what's going on with this right here? Uh, those are just conveyors. I mean, you can put any kind of belt on there. Yeah, you put a servo motor on it. Actually, nice. Jason's the uh, Jason's the uh, aluminum extrude expert. I'll have him explain everything to you.